Hello, this is Mark Allen from ScanText. Today I'm going to tell you about a customer application that Zebra Fixed Industrial Scanning was able to handle. I had a customer that does prescriptions that wanted to be able to scan a barcode, send data in via USB, right into a browser application for their shipping software. They also wanted to keep a picture of every single scanned image that the scanner would, would take. So every time it scanned a good barcode, they'd want to send the data out. And then every time we scanned a barcode, they'd want to save an image. Let me show you what we did to do that. Here inside the Zebra scanner, inside communications, I just enabled HID keyboard interface and specified what the, what the keyboard uh, type was. So that sets up so that every time I scan a barcode, it sends it out via notepad. Today I'm using Notepad, but this would be an example of getting into the customer solution with a browser interface as well. Now, the other thing we did is besides some of the normal features of specifying to add a carriage return after every piece of data that we scanned, as well as specifying the exact symbologies that we should scan, we also were able to specify for this customer a trigger. Of either presentation mode or continuous mode because we're going to have it set so even though the scanner could read hundreds of pieces of data per second we're only having it scan one piece of data for that particular prescription number now a handheld scanner can do both image capture and barcode scanning but not at the same time that's a function of the zebra fixed industrial scanning solution where we can do both at the same time now here on the connect part of the uh, application. Again, it's Aurora as our design software. We specified we specify here that in any good read, we want to either save the data on the device or send it out via FTP. So here in this case, we would send it out via FTP, and then that could put it into a local directory on the laptop, and then you could, of course, or, or PC, workstation, and you could sync that to a OneDrive folder or something. So in a nutshell, I've just showed you how we can have an application that would scan data in USB. And save an image every time of um, what, what it actually scans. If you'd like to talk to Scan Texas about how we can help you solve your fixed scanning challenge, please click the link below or contact us at scantexas.com. Thank you.